Joe, and this video is going to cover network function virtualization. I'm going to give a quick introduction to what network function virtualization is, what the advantages are, and basically the framework of it. Network function virtualization decouples hardware from software in network functions. Network function virtualization is a subset of software-defined networking, this huge trend right now in networking called SDN. So it moves network functions from specialized appliances, right, that have specialized hardware and embedded software that runs on them to applications that simply run on common off-the-shelf equipment, just standard server appliances, switches, and storage. The basic uh, structure here, traditionally, you had specialized appliances for firewalls, load balancers, deep packet inspection, routers. All these things were basically appliances, right? 1U or 2U appliances that have specialized hardware designed by the manufacturer, right? In the case of firewall, maybe Barracuda, right? Makes a specialized firewall or load balancers from F5 that have specialized rack mountable appliances with their own hardware and their own embedded software running on that hardware. So each time you want to add a load balancer to your data center, you're basically ordering a piece of equipment, sending a technician out to the data center to install and set that up. But with software-based functions, these same network functions are performed now on off-the-shelf servers, right? There's a virtualization layer, so a hypervisor, and then you're running a firewall virtualized network function or load balancer virtualized network function or router virtualized network function on top of this basically off-the-shelf hardware. And what manages all this, there's an orchestration and management layer that manages all these network functions. So the advantages are pretty obvious. It's much more flexible to have, sep to have separation of hardware and software. It's much more scalable and elastic. So you, you can scale up or down your load balancing or your firewall capacity by simply pushing a button on a control panel from anywhere, right? If you need to add a new firewall, you don't order a piece of equipment and have a technician install it, which would sometimes take weeks. You basically press a button on your control panel and a new firewall is, is instantly configured and set up within minutes in your data center. So it's much more scalable, much more elastic, depending on whether your, your need for capacity is going up or down in your data center. You can localize these network functions now. You can move to exactly where the workload is within the data center, not just wherever you have space. Cost reduction, you reduce your capital expenditure and your operating expenditure, right? You're not pouring out money up front for a new piece of equipment. And operating expenses should be lower using virtualized network functions. Time to market. You no longer have to wait for a new equipment cycle. Typically it's two to three years for networking equipment. Now you're basically just waiting for a new software cycle, a new software release cycle for new features in the virtualized network function. In innovation, now all of a sudden there are a whole new batch of startup companies and small companies that don't have the, the high barriers to entry to compete in this space. You also have contribution and innovation coming from the academic side. So potentially there's a lot of new innovation that could come into virtualized network functions. So some of the challenges and requirements though are pretty big. Virtualized network functions have to be as fast, secure, reliable, easy to operate and instantiate. You know, they have to be every bit as good in every respect as the custom made appliances that they're replacing. There's a basic framework defined by the European Telecom Standards Institute. It's a pretty loosely defined framework that uh, virtualized network functions run on, and it's, it's intentionally defined loosely so that there's room for innovation, room for a lot of different solutions depending on what works best for different customers. But the basic uh, framework is that there's a, a hardware layer. You have storage, network, and compute resources down here. And on top of that, there's a virtualization layer, basically a hypervisor. And then there's a virtualization layer on top of that, right? And then you have applications running on top of this virtualized hardware. And then on the right here, we have basically orchestration and management. So there's a module that runs, that, that basically does all the orchestration and management, which I'm going to cover in the next slide.
network function virtualization with software defined networking. Network function virtualization basically sits on the northbound API between the application layer and the control layer. So NFV management and orchestration is a pretty important piece of NFV. So again, there's a framework basically defined by ETSI for what functions have to be carried out by the management and orchestration layers. And uh, this slide basically covers all that. So orchestration is managing the life cycle of network services. Instantiation and elastic scaling for uh, the network services. It's doing onboarding for new network services. It's doing performance measurements. Basically needs to gather statistics on the performance of each virtualized network function and look for ones that are overworked and ones that are underworked and make adjustments as needed. And access control, right? We have security, so we have to control validation, authorization for each, uh, all the network resources. And the management module is going to manage the configuration, lifecycle management, and element management for the virtualized network function instances. So you may have many instances of a firewall, for instance, a VNF virtualized firewall. And the management module is going to have to keep track of all those, which ones are running on which servers. It basically is going to build up new ones, tear, tear other ones down. It manages to scale up and scale down dynamically on an as-needed basis. right? So it's taking these statistics, the performance measurements, provided by the orchestration layer and saying, hey, we need to increase our, uh, our firewall capacity over here on this section of the data center. So I hope this gives you an overview of what network function virtualization is and basically the general architecture of uh, network function virtualization. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.